What up, peeps? Welcome to today's Thank vlog. Yo, that Ryan. Our, PSP Our packages games. we opened last night. <gasps> oh, okay. So that's the PSP stuff. Ryan hasn't seen them yet. Yeah, I want to see you get. Go through them. Yeah, I will eventually. There's a Game Boy box you might want too. Yeah, I was looking at that. You don't need that one. No. <gasps> there's no game. There's no cartridge because that I did need the cartridge. So it's just a box of manual, but it's like a five dollar game. I'm also, yeah, I'm probably gonna buy it. <laughs> there was a there was a very awesome box that I took home thinking that we needed it. Turns out it's just gonna be a condition upgrade, and you're gonna want it. Ooh. It might be the box for a clear Game Boy Pocket. Are you serious? Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> I want that. <laughs> yeah, there was also another game I took home that I thought we didn't have, but we do, and it's the Game and Watch Gallery One for original Game Boy. So that box and manual is available as well. It's Shoot. it's pretty rough though. Yeah. Like the uh, box is pretty crushed, but so. it's still available. Come, come, come. Hi, Abby. Hi. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. <laughs> yeah, you should look through there. I should. We pulled out I think four PSP games that we wanted to keep. Yeah. Two of them I wanted, two of them Abby wanted. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's some cool stuff in there. Cool. Yeah. Okay, let's finish grabbing this order, Ryan. Oh. Abby and Ryan are pulling orders right now. We've already got most of the stuff shipped, but there's a couple orders that have come in and we're kind of slow today, so that's what they're doing. I think we currently have five or six orders left to ship. Well, one of them is a pickup, so even less. I'm gonna go through real quick and show you guys the small amount of trade in so far from today. There's not a ton to start, but here it is. All right, here's the stack so far. We have Minecraft, Fallout 4 Game of the Year, Disney Infinity 2.0, Deal or No Deal, Disney Princess, Wii Fit, Prototype Biohazard Bundle, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 for Dreamcast, Dead or Alive 2, uh, no manual for Dreamcast, Crazy Taxi, Devil May Cry 5, The Call, The Wild, Blu-ray, new, uh, Disney, Disney Nature Oceans Blu-ray, Get Out, 4K Ultra Blu-ray, also Unsane. Yeah. Is she in something else? She looks really familiar, like we just saw her in something. Is that um, John Krasinski's wife? No, that is not Emily Blunt. Oh, it kind of looks like her. <laughs> it looks like uh, Elliot Page. Mm. E.T. and Ghostbusters. So that's everything so far. And we're kind of slow today. There's another game store um, about an hour away that is opening up a second location. And today's their grand opening. So we assume that a bunch of people are going to that today. But, uh, yeah, we'll go check it out at some point. <laughs> yeah. This, oh. Not today, I, like, obviously. I it's Friday. Right. But, like, I, I have to be prepared to, like, drop, like, 100 or 2 bucks. And I'm not prepared for that right now. Yeah. Ugh. <sighs> but, now that I'm done with shipping. I'm excited for our newbies to start. I am. I'm so yeah, excited. Yeah, I'm excited. Me too. We're going to have to like bump everybody oh, around a little bit because uh, Naven is just going to be working with us like one on one mm -hmm. for his two days. And then um, Kyle and Devin overlap for one day. Yeah. So and then I'm excited for that. It's going to be really nice. Yeah. And now that the shipping is pretty much taken care of, I'm going to start entering in some inventory. Are you going to do the Donkey Kong toys? Because people keep harassing <sighs> me on my personal Instagram about it. Not yet. Do it. And I'm not coming for anybody. It's okay. It's just like, it's just <laughs> Those two big boxes of the Donkey Kong toys. I was going to do this one, which has the, the Neo Geo stuff, which the guy that we bought the Saturn Dreamcast and Sega CD collections from, he's interested in those. I just don't have prices for them yet. So we have that. And then back in here, you can ignore the crap on top, but these are the, the two boxes of all the NES games. I need to do those as well. So I don't know. I'll do something. And I also have this box down here. Remember all the all the turbo games and all that? <laughs> Got another trade in here, guys. We have a Galaxy 3DS, which is super cool. And then we have a bunch of games here. Pokemon X, Pokemon Omega Ruby, Pokemon Ultra Moon, Pokemon Ultra, Pokemon Ultra Sun, Pokemon another Ultra Moon? Two copies, I guess. Mario Kart 7, Pokemon Y, Alpha Sapphire, Smash Bros, and then Smash for the Wii. And then the guy that traded this in, you said he also had a Wii system? Yes. Where's that at? Uh, over underneath the box. Right here. Did it come with a bunch of stuff? It came with uh, the controller and num nunchuck right there. That's it? Yeah. Um, then all the Pokemon games and the DS. Cool. 
Hey. You putting some stuff out? Yeah, I'm putting stuff out. Good. Yeah. 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 Okay. The computer is having some problems, so. Is it still having issues? Yeah. Chris is supposed to help me pretty soon here. He's helping a bunch of other customers with stuff, so I have to just kind of like wait my turn. <laughs> so I can't enter anything until he does. All right, guys. So we are closed now. We have two packages to open, um, but I also wanted to mention that Abby and I got a bunch of stuff into the system today. So Abby started working on the PSP collection. Some of it's in, most of it's not yet. Um, and then I entered all the Turbo Graphics games. And then in that same tub of stuff, we had Super Nintendo, N64, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, DS. And I think that was it. And then like the, this is only for local people, but the, the clear blue 2DS that was in the box. I got all that stuff entered. Um, so I still have- What about the backlight Game Boy? I didn't do that one yet. I need to send pictures. To um, but I need to, so I need to do that. I need to do all the NES games that are in that tub. Um, and then we have the two boxes of NES games we still have to do, plus a ton of other things. But we're going to add to the pile of stuff that needs to be done by opening these. This first one here is an eBay purchase that I made. Not a game I was looking for. I was just, I happened to just open eBay. I have my homepage set to a search. And it's just like a generic search that I do. It's like looking for promotional items and signs and kiosk stuff and, you know, vintage employee, whatever. Just like ran random stuff. This is at the very top. And this is a Switch game called Rogue Legacy. And somebody listed this for $12 and it's brand new. It's a limited run game, number 40. And for 12 bucks, I was like, okay, I can't. I mean, it's 12 plus shipping, but... It was still, it was under $20 shipped. And I was like, okay, that's cheaper than it would have been to get it from Limited Run. So I can't really complain about that. And it's one that we didn't have yet. So bought that for the collection. And then we have this big boy here. And this is coming from Jason. And this is for the store. And this is gonna be really cool because this is something, this is a large amount of something that we've had very few of. So you'll probably know by the title of the video, but, oh, there's a note. It says, I hope all these games help the store. I love watching your, I love watching your vlogs. Hopefully I can make a road trip from Miami, Florida and check the place out soon. Uh, I also threw in an, a couple, I also threw in a couple of GameCube games that need resurfaced as a thank you. And then he's got all his information. Have an amazing day, Jason. All right. So there's a bunch of pack. There's the GameCube discs. So he said these need to be resurfaced and they're disc only. We have uh, Dave Mira's Freestyle BMX. Ooh, that's really bad. Uh, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. That one's not too bad. And then Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit 2. That one's not that bad. So those should all hopefully be fixable. I'm not sure if we have cases for them, but still very cool. Thank you for those. Get that out of the way. And then you might just want to get a shot of this. We have some Japanese N64 games. There's just a couple. So there, there's only like 15 different titles in here, but there's quantity of everything, of almost everything. So, <laughs> I guess we should unpack these off camera and stack them up. And like, we'll put all the Kirby's in one stack and then we'll film them and we can show people all the titles and then how many of each of them. All right guys, so there's a few more than 15 titles total, but here we are, there's one casualty. This guy right here, unfortunately, the board is completely destroyed. Luckily, it's a cheap one, so it's not really a big deal. The one we have the most of is right here. Pokemon Gold and Silver. There's a ton of those. We also have Mario Party 2. There's a bunch of those. There's a bunch of Pokemon Stadium 2s and Pokemon Stadium 1s. And then all the rest, we have like six or seven copies or less. So uh, F1 World Grand Prix, Star Wars Episode 1 Racer some Dorymon 2 game. I can't remember what this one is. Some, some like card game, but it has a bunny on the front. Pokemon Snap, 
some skiing game. Kirby 64, Wave Race. Don't know what that one is. I'm pretty sure this, though, was one of the launch titles in Japan. I can't remember what it's called, uh, but there was, in North America, we had Mario 64 and Pilot Wings, and then in Japan, they also had this one. So we had two, they had three. Uh, Yoshi Story, baseball game, Ocarina of Time. Oh, that goes over there. Uh, don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, hey, you Pikachu, Pilot Wings, Super Smash, uh, whatever that is. Looks interesting. Another Doraemon game, baseball. There's Ocarina, baseball, Bomberman 2. Uh, I can't remember. I mean, that looks like Sailor Moon, but I think this is like a Tamagotchi one. Another baseball one, soccer, Mario Party 3, Mystical Ninja. Another baseball one, another baseball one, Donkey Kong, Mario Golf, Mario Tennis, and Diddy Kong Racing. So, tons of copies. We should have these in stock for, for quite some time. Um, every time we get the Japanese N64 games, they usually sell pretty quick, like on our website and stuff. You want to just, like, we have, yeah, we have two more left right down there. So yeah, Japanese N64 games do not play on a North American system without modification. This is the back of a North American game. You can see these little ridges. And this is a Japanese one. So there's physical pieces of plastic inside the N64 cartridge slot that will prevent this from plugging in. You can easily mod it by cutting those little plastic chunks out of your thing or just swapping the swapping the, uh, the tray with like a 3D printed one, which is what we have done for the Japanese consoles that we got. So this gold one that's in here will play... Japanese and North American games. It is a Japanese console, but we swapped the tray with one of those 3D printed ones, so it'll play all regions. So it's pretty easy to do. Uh, you don't need any soldering or anything. It's just a screwdriver and a game bit to open up the console, change it out. They're like 12 bucks for the thing on eBay, or find someone local, get them a little bit cheaper. But yeah, or just you know, dremel the plastic out on yours. It doesn't. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It'll all work. So. Lots of cool stuff here. Very happy um, to get these. They're way, way cheaper than the North American versions, which is why some people go after them. Because some games, you don't need the text. You don't need text in Super Smash Brothers. It's pretty easy to figure out what you're doing. Something like... I don't know. <laughs> this game, you probably need to know Japanese a little bit more to be able to do it. Ocarina of Time, you probably don't really need Japanese. Speedrunners use a Japanese version because it's a little bit faster. Mario Tennis, you don't need Japanese. So pretty easy to play the majority of them. But uh, yeah, really cool stuff. I'm happy to get these. Hopefully you guys are excited about them. I'm not sure exactly when they're going to be in the system. Hopefully sooner than later. And they're all pretty cheap, like I said. Uh, Mario Party 3, for example. North American one is like 50, 60 bucks. I'm pretty sure this one is like 10 to 12. <laughs> so, and cool, look, you even get some Japanese Sharpie on the back. So, I think the most expensive game in here is like 15 bucks. All the rest are going to be cheaper. The majority of them are $10 or less. So, if you're interested, keep an eye out on the website. Hopefully, in the next few days, we can get them up. Are you excited we're home? Do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? <laughs> Stop it. Get down. Outside? All right, let's go outside. Go. Go. 